Volume 3 will be an episodic journey through time focusing on interesting or significant moments or events in recorded human history. In each episode, the time traveler will be able to explore and experience a particular moment in time, and each moment in time will be embedded within a larger historical context or idea. The time traveler may sometimes see and experience historical figures in action, perhaps during moments of crisis, or the time traveler may have the opportunity to explore the lives of ordinary people and their interactions with the environment, as well as organizations and institutions. We will pick 10 moments in history and allow the time traveler to explore and experience the general environment and the mix of people pertaining to that particular time and place in history. We will strive to highlight a variety of cultures and civilizations. What follows are examples or rough sketches of the types of episodes we might produce for this volume. These are just examples of what we may include in Volume 2. We are not promising to produce any particular episode at this time. Djoser's Pyramid Join Imhotep, the builder, physician, and scientist, as he oversees construction of the Step Pyramid. Visit the court of the Pharaoh Djoser, as plans are laid for the oldest of Egypt's pyramids. Move among the work crews as they level the base, cut and move the stones, and roll them up the ramps into the places they remain to this day. Be there for the birth of one of humanity's engineering breakthroughs. The Punic Wars. Be there for the turning point in the rise of Rome from city to empire. You'll start with the conflicts in Sicily, and range across two centuries and two continents. You'll march with Hannibal over the Alps, seeing the legendary journey of Hannibal's war elephants. You'll share his frustration and defeat through the strategy of Quintus Fabius Maximus Cunctator. Then you'll see firsthand the rise of Rome and the final fall of Carthage as the Third Punic War comes to a close. The Real King Arthur Journey to Britain at the far edge of the Roman Empire. Follow the Roman retreat from Hadrian's Wall to the Wars of Boudicca. Then, as the Romans withdraw, be there for the rise of Romano-Celtic warriors, who history would turn into legends. See the arrival of the Saxon invaders, stand with Ryotimus, King of the Britons, at the birth of the European medieval era. Ride with the Mongols. The name of Genghis Khan still reverberates down the centuries. Now you can join the horde of the most prolific conqueror of all, as his armies reach west into Europe and east into China, establishing kingdoms and dynasties that would last for centuries. But it's not all war and fear. You will circle back to medieval Karakoram with its famous Silver Tree Palace to see the Mongol court flourishing with scholarship and religious debate. West meets East. From Mongolia, travel the Silk Road to see the connections between East and West prior to the European Age of Exploration. Then sail with Columbus, or meet him on the beach with the Taino people, to see firsthand the early encounters between long-separated societies. You'll feel the tragedy of the clash of civilizations and the horrifying destruction that still defines much of the modern world. Siege of Tenochtitlan You are in Tenochtitlan, it is 1521 and the capital of the Aztec Empire has been under siege for months. The ruler has died of a mysterious disfiguring illness. The trade in slaves, foodstuffs and gemstones that made the city so wealthy is bringing about its destruction, as Spanish forces seeking golden treasure are forcing the population to cede to their power. You are witnessing the downfall of a society both cruel and complex. As the great temple burns, both human sacrifice and architectural prowess are brought to an end. But what else can you find out about how the Aztecs lived? Battle of Naseby. Travel back to 1661, approximately one year after King Charles II was restored to the throne, to a quiet churchyard in an English village. Hear birdsong and children's voices, the distant sound of a horse's hooves on an earthen track. As you pause to read the gravestones, you realize that this is not the quiet idol, it seems. This is Naseby, and about fifteen years before your visit, in the house opposite, Cromwell's men massacred royalist soldiers, then took their places at the dinner table. From the starting point of the church's records, uncover one of England's bloodiest moments in time. The Trial of King Charles Travel to England in the age of religious and civil war, 
You'll be among the spectators at the treason trial of King Charles I of England, learning how religious intolerance, politics, and tax policy led England to the brink of destruction. You'll be right there in the courtroom as, for the first time in the West, the principle that a ruler is subject to the law is laid down. Eruption of Mount Tambora, Indonesia, 1815. Sit and eat breakfast with a British merchant in Batavia, the capital of the Dutch East Indies. As he begins to tell you of his trade and his adventures, you hear explosions that sound as if a dreadful battle is taking place. But as the skies darken and ash begins to fall, you realize that this is the planet at its most terrifyingly powerful. No man-made disaster, the earth itself is erupting, and as you revisit over the coming months and years, the cold chills your bones and the food you once shared is so scarce the people are dying. Pre-Revolutionary War The time machine will give you a seat at the table where, in the flickering light of a single candle, colonists weary of British oppression whisper their plans to break from bondage, not knowing that a British patrol is about to kick in the door. The Rights of Man and Citizen Travel to the start of the French Revolution. You'll see and hear firsthand the origins of human rights as a political ideology, from the lofty days of the Legislative Assembly through the twists and turns that led to the terror and the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. Finally, you'll ride with Napoleon and even listen to Beethoven as we ask, was Napoleon a hero of the revolution or its grave digger? Seneca Falls Convention The women's suffrage movement began at the Seneca Falls Convention in New York in July 1848. Organized by Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott, the meeting attracted 300 people and lasted for two days. Modeled on the Declaration of Independence, the Convention's Declaration of Sentiments stated, We hold these rights to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal, and that they are endowed by their Creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Seventy-two years later, on August 18, 1920, American women finally achieved the right to vote with the ratification of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad Harriet paused and listened to the night sounds, hoping not to hear the footsteps of the slave catchers as she led her passengers through the moonlit forest. She gazed through the tree branches, up towards the night sky, looking for the Big Dipper, the sign that would lead the way north to the next hideout and the way to freedom. She had taken this journey before and she intended to take it again to lead as many to freedom as she could. Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery in 1849 to become a conductor in the Underground Railroad. Also a nurse, a spy, and a supporter of women's suffrage, Tubman personally led at least 70 slaves to freedom and assisted many others. During the Civil War, she provided crucial support to the Union Army as a spy and a nurse, and she continued to fight slavery. In 2016, the U.S. Treasury announced that her image will appear on the $20 bill, replacing that of former President Andrew Jackson, although production of the new bill has been delayed. Florence Nightingale and Mary Seacole contribute to professionalization of nursing during the Crimean War. More men died of disease than from fighting in the brutal Crimean War, which pitted Britain, France, and the Ottoman Empire against Russia. When Florence Nightingale read in the Times about the lack of medical care and supplies, she volunteered her services. Although the most famous, she was not the only woman to do so. James Miranda Berry, born Margaret Ann Bulkey, who disguised herself as a man in order to enroll in medical school, supervised sick and wounded soldiers from her post in Corfu, and Mary Seacole, a black nurse from Jamaica who was rejected from Nightingale's team, set up her own dispensary and offered her own special cures. Their activities played a key role in the professionalization of nursing and the acceptance of women in medical careers. The War Nobody Wanted World War I. The Great War reshaped the Western landscape as nothing really had before. Go inside the frantic final days of diplomatic meetings as one nation after another fell into the grip of war. You'll be there on the streets as people embrace war fever and in the trenches as enthusiasm for combat gives way to the horrid reality of the first truly modern war. Finally, you'll go to the Versailles Conference to see how Woodrow Wilson's plans for a stable peace were undercut, setting the stage for even bigger conflict to come.
The Role of the Merchant Marine in World War II In World War II, the civilian seamen of the Merchant Marine suffered the highest kill ratio of all the services, losing one of every 26 men who went to sea. Nazi wolf packs and U-boats prowled the oceans, sinking an average of 33 merchant ships a week. Come aboard the bridge of a merchant ship as she is stalked by a Nazi U-boat in her desperate struggle to deliver some of the 380 million tons of cargo and supplies our troops needed to fight and win World War II. The Holocaust In a state that imagined itself civilized, in a modern era that hoped that barbarism was in the past, the most horrific tragedy in the history of humanity unfolded. Start on the streets, at the book burnings and speeches, to help understand how ordinary people could be drawn in to accept or participate in such monstrous evil. Then on to the Wansi Conference to see for yourself the banality of evil. And finally, you'll come face to face with the enormity of human suffering and the courage of those who resisted. The Sinatra Doctrine. It's 1989, the Iron Curtain has collapsed, and a new hope for a stable and peaceful world was born. You'll be there as the Berlin Wall, the preeminent symbol of the Cold War, crashes down. You'll celebrate freedom with the former Soviet states and see firsthand how China's moment came and went. Finally, we'll step back to see what happened to the promise of those years and how we got to the world we live in today. <laughs>